Rampas Inhumanas for Jonas Wingergo is back. This was Croatia race stage three, finishing on Primostan. I love a little stage. It's got a longer climb before the final. Milan's in the leader's jersey by a handful of seconds, maybe 22 seconds on Wingergaard, I think. And as you can see, it doesn't show too well on this small profile, but the finish is like... This Vuelta style ramp us in Humanas, the last 500 meters, it's one like 1.4k, 6.6%, but the last bit is super steep and like a corrugated sort of paved. It's not even a road, there's gravel before it. Breakaway went with 70k, or it went before 70k to go, but when live picture started, you saw Bahrain victorious controlling it. And would Jumbo uh, put a rider forward for Vingia? The answer was yes. So, Two teams mainly controlling, and I thought Buitrago would be a big contender for the stage when he won a Saudi Tour stage, very similar to this back in uh, February. It might have even been a gravel road then. Maybe that was a gravel stage that Bagioli crashed. Anyway, Ineos were interested too, I think, for Freyla, uh, who was maybe their best place rider. Oscar only too. We'll talk a bit more about him in a second for DSM was prominent. They were keeping him for... We've got the flares going, crazy stage in Croatia. And yeah, it's Kwiatkowski actually keeping the team forward. And this was a race I would have thought maybe he could have gone for GC himself. And this is the earlier climb before the final. Would anyone go? Would any attacks go? Just, I think, Vertgen on Bingo Al, who they were just going for KOM points. They got real back. And then it was Bahrain and uh, Jumbo Visma once again with, I think, Timo Rosen keeping their riders forward or keeping Vingard forward. Freyla looks pretty relaxed behind. And it'll be interesting to see how Vingard will go on this sort of finish. Now, Planche de Belfia, he did better than I expected. To be honest, I thought Pogaccio would take time on the road. He actually attacked Pogaccio there. They did the super planche, remember, with the really steep uh, gravel finish in the last K. And this was a bit different. The gravel was not so steep at the start of this climb, which they've turned on to now. Only on uh, DSM in good position. He's 19, by the way. And Jonathan Mel Milan. I mean, this guy, I already gave him a big rap after stage one. He won the second stage as well on the photo finish. He was attacking on this stage. He attacked uh, multiple times on this climb, the big unit. And I know we don't have, like, the flesh for lone cast characters here, but still, like, to be doing that against, you know, Vingegaard and Freyla is pretty impressive. You can see where they're going up to Primoz stands. And it was mainly this B&B rider going on the front, just pacing for a little bit. And then Milan, I think, attacked the right-hand side, refused to draft on the gravel. Everyone else is pretty much remaining seated, only in good position at the front. Vingegaard moving himself up on the left-hand side, you can see here, onto Milan's wheel. And so this gravel surface, I wonder if they ran different equipment today. Probably not, because it's just, you know, a short gravel section. The gravel here, like, it wasn't so steep, and the gravel didn't look too rough at this point. Um, it's more the paved bit they're about to get on i mean if you can call it paved with the big corrugations in the middle of it i don't know why for water runoff it looks like there's a park in javier behind uh, as it goes down to cumbre del sol or the granadilla beach and this looks yeah, really beautiful and they've got this like observatory on top which is i think where they did the interview with Jonas. he goes inside afterwards here's the attack from milan just sends it you can see it's a faster section that ramps up a little bit and it goes on to this paved section again attacks which, like, I wonder if he wouldn't have lost too much time at all. He only lost eight seconds in the MLM, but if he hadn't attacked, with Freyla countering him as we get onto the steep section, how would he have gone? Or maybe that dulled the legs of the other riders. And then you can see that the speed has decreased so much. Freyla cuts the inside, only goes a little bit wider. Milan goes the steepest bit on the inside of this Rampas in Humanas. There's a few spectators with the iPhones out. Crazy, seeing the Tour de France champ on this ramp pass against what's, as Freyla nearly locks up the, the gearing, against this super talented young rider only, like 19 years old on the DSM Conti team. He's not on their World Tour squad. He's on the Conti team next year, but already getting good results, British rider. He looks a pretty serious guy to be doing this at 19 years old. And yeah, the, the bikes are stalling on in the hairpins. It's so steep. And then Milan attacks again. I don't know if the plan was for him to bait for Moritz and Butrago to pay them back for their efforts of previous days or maybe he just felt a million bucks but Buitrago disappointed a little bit he got stuck behind the Milan attacks actually put him under pressure and it's Moritz who's the best of Bahrain but he gets gapped by Onli's last surge here who has Vingegaard come around him on the outside start sprinting and I wonder if Onli I mean he 
without the surprise, is almost sprinting at the same speed as Vingegaard, but he never regains that half wheel that he lost when Vingegaard came around the outside, who wins, pumps the fist, Moric third, Albanese fourth, Milan only, and Vingegaard all having a chat afterwards for what was pretty cool finish and like Milan he's the one that impressed me on this to be I don't know the what's uh, you know I'm sure he's not super planche de Belfia but he's looking good Jonathan Milan Vingegaard wins ahead of Only then Moric third Albanese fourth Milan fifth then Laurence Buitrago Jonas Gregard Brandon Smith and Passions rounding out the top 10 in terms of GC Milan keeps the jersey for today at least by a second ahead of Vingegaard because he did so well and Only moves into third on five seconds Moric on nine seconds and Albanese Rivera Laurence Gregard Buitrago and Hamilton I mean if only podiums this race against what's mostly world tour guys or pro conti guys serious pro conti guys at 19 years old i know it's in september october but still good result if you can do it here's what vingegaard had to say after the stage it was a very difficult finish actually it was a very uh, bumpy road so it was hard to stand on the pedals so you pretty much had to be seated and uh, yeah i mean the legs were good today so uh we worked for it all day, and uh, I'm happy to win. Tour de France champ looking good ahead of Lombardia in a couple of weeks. Not sure the start list of that exactly, but he'll probably be one of the favourites. Until stage four tomorrow, ciao.